All right, guys, this is kind of an impromptu rant. i uh, got a couple things I want to rant about. First and foremost, I had my heart set on, uh, I was going to buy a Schecter E1 Koa. I know it was a limited run f for like 2017 or whatever, and uh, but I found a couple. There was only like two for sale in the United States as of this filming. One was not that far from my house. It was listed on Reverb for a fairly reasonable price. It was in pretty decent shape. I almost pulled the trigger on it. Uh, I thought about messaging the guy and saying, like, you know, can I just drive down there? Can you meet me or whatever? But for what they were selling it for, with the trade-in, trade-up thing going on, with the extra 15 or it's at 15% instead of the usual 10% at Guitar Center... I figured, well, I can get it new for the same price this guy's selling it for used and save some money by trading in some shit. So they had one on their website, said it was new, and I went in, went through the whole rigmarole with the trade-in and everything, and uh, the guy said he was having trouble getting it shipped or whatever. Turns out it was a, it was a, it was at a store. So he called the store. The store tells him, it was a scratch and dent. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. So he's like, well, can you send me pictures? He said there's a chip in the finish. I'm like, Ugh, okay. So <laughs> I figure, well, if it's not too bad, I can live with it. And they were, you know, we worked out a, a decent price. They worked with me on the trade-in. They gave me a little bit. I talked them into a little bit extra than what they were going to give me. And so the guy got the pictures and there was this big chip taken out of the front of the guitar like up on the top upper horn of it uh, and for those of you that don't know what a Schecter E1 is it's basically like a it's like a it's like an Explorer but it's kind of more like an Ibanez uh, uh, Destroyer it's sort of similar to a snake bite without all the contours but I mean, a big chip in the finish right on the front of the guitar. And, you know, for the price of these things, I couldn't do that. So, they had another guitar in the store that I was at that I ended up going with. I'm not going to tell you what it was. We'll save that for a review and demo video, hopefully in the next uh, week or two. But, you know, it really pissed me off and I wasn't pissed off at the guy that I was dealing with you know that's one thing I think people need to keep in mind is you know the guys that and girls that work at the store just trying to make money like the rest of us they're just trying to earn a living I think it's bullshit that the website made it seem like it was a brand new guitar and it turned out it had issues but you know, this isn't the first, you know, this is the first time I've had this kind of issue with Guitar Center. This isn't the first time I've heard of these kinds of issues with Guitar Center. Uh, what would have, <coughs> excuse me, what would have really pissed me off is if I would have ordered it online instead of trading in shit and things like that and it showed up fucked up. That would have really pissed me off. Uh, so, I don't know. You know, there's still one out there. We'll see what happens, but kind of kind of spent my fun money <laughs> so uh maybe it's not meant to be at this moment in time so we'll see what happens but uh the other rant or the other part of this rant is and i'm driving home from guitar center so sorry that it's so dark the other part of this rant is neither one of the guitars the one that i originally wanted the koa or the guitar I ended up buying. Both of these guitars are north of a thousand dollars. The Co was eleven forty nine. The guitar I ended up buying was like twelve fifty nine or twelve forty nine or some shit like that. And none of these fucking guitars came with a case. That's bullshit. If you're paying north of a thousand dollars for a guitar, it should come with a fucking hard shell case. And I don't know. Maybe I'm being cheap. Maybe I'm expecting too much. I don't know. Uh, but you know, I I bought three LTDs this year. And all of them listed for more than $1,000. The Kirk Hammett, I think, I, technically I bought it used, but it lists for like, four, well, I think now it's like 1500 or 1600 bucks. I forget. Uh, but it comes with a case. The Snakebite came with a case. This other LTD I bought came with a case. And they were all $1,200 guitars. It came with a hard shell case. And I don't, you know... Or even the Epiphone 1959 Les Paul I bought. 
$800 guitar, or the MSRP is $800 and it comes with a case. Like, there's no reason a guitar that costs more than $1,000 should not come with a case. You know, that's not a, that's a price range that isn't an impulse buy. <laughs> Sorry. It's not an impulse buy. That's, that's something that people, you know, for some people that's a significant investment. They don't have, you know, a thousand dollars, twelve hundred dollars to just pop out on a fucking guitar. And like, like I said, I don't know, maybe I'm being cheap or maybe I'm expecting too much. You know, what do you guys think? Should, where's the cutoff? You know, I mean, even PRS, you know, they, they give you a pretty sturdy gig bag for, uh, the SE models, at least, I don't know what the rest of their lines are like as far as a case or a gig bag or anything, but I mean, Jesus Christ, like, you know, I just, a $1,200 guitar that's sitting on my fucking driver's seat because I don't have a case for it, and I would have bought one at the store, but they didn't have any in stock that fit the shape. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe that maybe that's the plot by these guitar some of these guitar manufacturers. Maybe it's like, well, well, we'll reel them in on the guitar and make the price the price point attractive for the features that you get, and then we'll we'll nail you one hundred and fifty two hundred dollars for a fucking case. My dean was the same way back in the day. So I don't know. I just think it's fucked up that you don't get a case for a guitar that costs any more than a thousand, but you know, let me know in the comments below, where do you, where do you think the line should be drawn that, like, it should be standard that you get a hard shell case with your guitar, or at the very least, a pretty sturdy gig bag, like what PRS does, you know, let me know, what do you think, uh, again, you know, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch, if you guys could do all that fun stuff that the algorithm likes, you know, rate, comment, subscribe, helps me, it helps the channel, um, lets me know what I'm doing right, doing wrong, where I can improve and all that fun stuff, so, you know, interact, <laughs> uh, but anyways, like I said, guys, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch, we'll see you in the next one, and I'm sorry for the darkness in the video, but I wanted to rant a little bit, so, I guess this is what you get, there's some light here and there when a car goes by, or I'm at a red light, though. <laughs>